This video is sponsored by NuVet Labs. NuVet Labs provides your pet with products that are completely safe, nutrient-rich, and formulated to strengthen the immune system, helping to give your pet many healthy years of life. Click the link in the description below or call the number shown and use order code 30690 and save up to 15% when you go on auto ship. New Vet Labs, your pet's best friend. What's up everybody, I'm Rudy V along with Anthony Ray. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another Grooming by Rudy video. As always, like if you enjoy the content, subscribe if you're new. Special thanks to all of our subscribers out there. We really appreciate each and every one of you guys. This video is less of a how-to and more of a what happens to your dog's paws if you don't clip the nails consistently. As groomers, we see this sort of thing time and time again, whether it's overgrown nails, overgrown pads, severely matted dogs, severe ear infections, you name it, we've seen it. In this case, we're dealing with another rescue dog situation. We know nothing about this dog. The only thing we know is that the dog's nails are severely overgrown and it's really affecting how the dog stands and walks. So let's dive right in. Let's see what we can do to at least get this dog standing and walking without feeling any discomfort. Okay guys, so we're gonna dive right into this. Um, again, you can see what's happening here with these nails. They're just so overgrown. They're, they're twisting and they're, they're they're literally growing on top of one another. Um, this one here is just folded over to the side. So it's really just twisting the whole digit. And she's very sensitive. Um, so again, I don't know this dog. Uh, I don't know where the veins are, but uh, I have to try to get this done. I'm actually gonna start by using a cat nail clipper right in here and just do a little snip and just see where we're at. Um, that felt okay. I could probably go a little shorter on that, but I don't want to hit her vein right away and lose her trust. So I'm trying to, it's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. So we're just gonna, I'm using cat nail clippers here, guys. So, um, cause I could just get in there a little bit better with these guys, as opposed to these big guys here. This is actually a small nail clipper as well, but she's a little tiny thing. So, um, okay. Okay, baby, I know, I know. She's just real sensitive, guys. You can see how sensitive this is. It creates so much pressure right here on the digit. Just touching it is sensitive to her. Um, so again, we're just gonna try to clip. And you know, we're getting these huge chunks like that. It's gonna make a big difference. You know, we've had some comments in the past where, oh, why don't you grind them? It's impossible to grind nails like this. When they're too long like that and the dog is that sensitive, the grinder is literally going to just create so much pain, the vibration of the grinder. Uh, okay, so this one here is hooked under. You can see how it's actually poking that one. She can't stand. Um, so I'm going to try to line this up and just kind of... Good clip right there. Again, we're getting these huge chunks. Um, I could probably go a little further here, guys, but I, again, I don't want to lose her trust. And um, I don't know her. I don't know this dog, so I don't want to hit her veins. But she's actually able to put her pad down a little better here. But I feel like I should try to take them shorter. We're only showing you one foot here because um, Anthony actually needs to hold her up for the rest of them. So, uh, yeah, um, that's, that's about as far as I'm going to go. Again, as we mentioned in our black nails video, you see that little dot in the middle? That's her vein right there. So I don't want to go any further than that. And, uh, give us a chance to check these out. This one seems a little short. Maybe I'll go a little further. If I hit her vein, I'm sorry. Just want to try to get them back. Okay, mama. I know. I don't want to stay on it either because I'm, I'm starting to lose her trust because she's pulling away. It's okay, baby girl. So here, we'll just take a look at that. Big difference. She can at least start to rest these pads. You see, see what's happening to this pad? It's completely sideways, this pad. It should be... It should be resting like this, but because those nails have been twisted for such a long time, it actually caused the pad to turn sideways. But she's going to feel a lot better just by doing what we did. You know, 
these big chunks right here. So groomers see this stuff every day, you know, it, and yeah, it's neglect, but the dog's a rescue. And, and again, our job is just, you know, get the dog comfortable for the time being and, and we'll worry about the rest later. So there you have it guys. In this video, we really just wanted to commend all of you dog groomers out there. Whether you're facing the repeat offender that just keeps bringing the dog in matted and in horrible condition, or it's another rescue that's picked off the street. Guys, our job is just to help these dogs out. We wanna thank you groomers. You guys are doing such a good job. We love each and every one of you guys. We know we love our job here. We also wanna thank you people that are just showing an interest in the industry. Even if you're not a groomer, the fact that you're on our channel or on anybody else's channel on YouTube guys it's very very important and just you showing an interest is just gonna educate us all and in the end it's just really gonna help out all the dogs so with that being said guys if this video resonated with you do us a big favor smash that like button for us subscribe if you're new to our channel we'd really love having you aboard also check out our podcast it's called groomer humor we're gonna leave it in the description down below on behalf of Anthony and I we want to thank you so much for checking out another grooming by Rudy video